Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial. Today we are going to paint the Barn Owl Cuddle and it's going to be with acrylics and gold foil and it's on a 30 by 30 centimetre canvas. Okay, so once you've got your canvas and you've primed it, then you can use these stencils that you can get off of my website to make up your design. I've just primed this in acrylic, nothing special. Just give it a couple of layers of a dark blue acrylic. So yes, as I've said, you can get the stencils off my website and uh, cut them out and use them and make up your design. I've got the barn owls to the right and I'm going to put a moon over to the left later, but you can you can do something completely different if you like. I've just used a uh, sandwich plate there to put the moon in. Makes a, a very good moon, does a sandwich plate. Okay, now, now that you have your design, you're ready to put the gold foil size or the gold foil glue on the canvas. A nice even layer so that it dries evenly everywhere that you want gold foil to go. That's it, get it on there. As you can see it's milky white here but once it's dried, which will take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on, on the weather, uh, once it's dry it will go tacky and you won't be able to see that white and that's when you know that it's ready to put the gold foil on. There you go. So just take the gold foil and layer it on. Now it isn't real gold so you can be rough with it and just use your hands to, to rub it in wherever you want it to go and it just creates such a lovely warm effect which I really love. Now you need to get rid of that dark blue so using some titanium white acrylic completely cover the moon and cover the owls in. You will need to do a couple of layers of this just to really get a nice even white base colour. Also do the mushrooms and I've also done the stalks of those two mushrooms at the bottom as well. Just using a nice pinky red for the fly agaric mushroom because it's such a lovely colour crimson this one and again you'll need to do a couple of layers just to really make that colour pop and then some burnt sienna brown for that little brown one. Okay so you've got two layers it's dry now so you can use the stencils again to reapply your design. I've actually punctured with the pencil through the barn owl's eyes and beak so that you can mark dots, join the dots and put your design back on again. There you go. Perfect. Now we're going to start to paint in the owlet using some white and a tiny bit of brown and a tiny bit of yellow just to warm up that white, make it more of a cream really. Make yourself a couple of shades and just start to paint, paint them in. Yours is going to be different from mine, they're all going to be different. So just enjoy it, relax and, and go for it. I've used a slightly darker shade there for the adult owl. Female owls are apparently darker in their wings than the male owl, so I guess this is mum. There we go. And just using the different shades to bring out, to hint at the, the different feathers and the pattern in the feathers. Some yellow, a light yellow for the beaks. Brown again for the nostrils and then that warm white to fill in the rest of their face. Covering all of that original titanium white because we don't want to see that, that original one. There we go, looking good. He is cute. This is my favourite bit, I love giving them eyebrows. So a darker shade, nice big eyebrows and then a dark brown to bring out that beautiful heart shape that they have in their face. That immediately just screams barn owl, doesn't it? That lovely shape. Okay. Take your time, enjoy it, have a cup of tea and just slowly work away at them. Black eyes, just simple round black eyes. There we go, it's all coming together. Looks like I'm just darkening that hood there. 
Oh, and they, <laughs> I've just painted in the, the whites of the eyes, they are the highlights, which really bring them to life, don't they? It's just a simple, tiny white dot. If you wait until the black paint is dry, it's easier. So painting in the mushrooms, I've used purple. And as I go up the mushroom shape, I've lightened the shade of the purple. And, and there they are. And then using your thinnest paintbrush, just put some little white spots on them to indicate the shaggy bits of the shaggy ink caps. Now, putting in those big lovely leaves, be really bold and really brave with them. Really fill your brush up, make it kind of milky, a milky texture. You don't want it too thick because you want to really go across the canvas and you want the paint to drag all the way over. And then just use the leaves to cuddle the owls, to envelop the owls and make them feel safe and cosy. You can have some coming from behind the owls, some coming over the front of them. And just really have fun with it. It, again, it will look different to mine. You, This is why workshops are so lovely, because everyone's interpretation of the same design is so different, and everyone is just brilliant. I love them. I've used a slightly lighter green there, just to do some more leaves and to add a bit of depth to the painting. And some little purple stars. Hey, there you go. So all finished. If you fancy giving it a go, please let me know, because I just love seeing pe everyone's efforts. And if you have any questions... Just send me an email and I'll get right back to you. Anyway, thank you ever so much. Stay safe and stay creative. Have fun. Bye.